Beth, good to see you, my friend. What's your favorite coffee place? Mine, my own. Is it? 392 Cafe, baby, of what, course. What makes it different than the other coffees? And I, I say that just to learn. Uh, oh, well, uh, we put a lot of heart into our coffee, right? So um, there's a lot of thought that goes into it, and there's a lot of care that goes into it. And when you find a really good craft coffee place, it's not Starbucks, right? It's not McDonald's. It's a place where they know you, they know your order, they know what you love. You walk in the door, and it's right there for you. And there's a lot of love and care that goes into making coffee that's really delicious, just like any, anything else, right? Yeah. You put care and effort into it. It's not just like, oh, let's toss it out and make money. That's not the end goal. The end goal is community, love, uh, and, and sort of that 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 love for doing something. Yeah. Right? What, what is your uh, typical? How do you like your coffee? Is it black or you do? No, nah, I do what's called a uh, well, it's called a one in one, right? So yeah. they pull a shot. Usually it's two shots when they pull, right? And they'll split it, and they'll do one shot, just plain espresso, and then they'll do another one with milk, like a small, what yeah. they call a cortado. So I usually double up. I'll do what they, my, like it's a two and two. So essentially I'll take a double shot of espresso and then a cortado, which is two ounces of espresso and two ounces of steamed milk. You know what you like. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's my drink. Yeah. How many do you have a day, usually a cup of coffee? Oh, just that. Just one? Yeah, well, I mean, it's two, but yeah, yeah. So two, two, two double shots, essentially. Do you make sure you hydrate? Do you have a glass of water before you have your coffee? Or well, I have the spark water to cleanse the palate sure. but no that's not that much espresso is not that bad like caffeine wise so it's not gonna it's not gonna dehydrate you immediately yeah. right if you don't drink the water but I mean I'm drinking water all day long sure. so it's not a big deal what's your gym routine like right now currently uh, well right now it's just rehab focusing on the knee right just because I can't do anything laterally uh, not yet anyway so it's a lot of like kind of just forward plane forward and backwards and stuff like that um, movements and just starting to add in some weights keeping the quad working and all that good stuff and then a lot of upper body you know what I mean yeah. a lot of presses a lot of pulls a lot of uh, curls and, and extensions and all that good stuff yeah who was the WCW wrestler that you wish joined the WWE during the Attitude Era oh man uh, during the Attitude Era gosh that's tough man Looking great. Um, there's so many good people I mean obviously it was a great time we kind of grew up during that time and it was a fun time during wrestling <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't change anything about that time. Like, I don't, I wouldn't. I, 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 the fact that you had like everything on both sides, like, you know, because you go, oh, I'd love to have Sting, right, in WWE. But, yeah. but then you wouldn't have got the, you know, Sting, like Crow. You, you wouldn't have got that, right? It would have been a different version. You would have had, yow, which is great, you know. But like, it's just it wouldn't have been the same. So like. I don't know, man. I loved everything about it. I think that the fact that you had incredible talent on both sides and unique stories and characters, that's what made it special. Yeah. Um, what do you think about these death matches we see online? Are you, as a wrestler, are you a fan of these, or do you kind of respect them? Or are you, uh, I mean, it depends. Everybody's, like, got their own thing, right? So kind of to each their own. Not my business. Like, yeah. I... I I'm so far removed from that. Sure. I, I cringe kind of if I see it online, but like it's just like it's an art form that I'm not familiar with to have an opinion on, right? Like I feel like it's so much different than what I'm trying to do. And the cool thing about wrestling is that it can be anything, right? And so like for people that love that, love to do it and love to see it, like it's 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 there and it exists and it's just it's just not for me. It's just not my cup of tea. It never has been. Yeah. What's your favorite wrestling sign you've ever noticed in the crowd? Is there one that like man that kind of made you laugh as you're coming out? Obviously catch you by surprise and um, like how do they get your attention when they're coming out? God, the there probably are, but I can't think of any off the top of my head that like that, that sticks right out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. I personally collect uh, vintage wrestling shirts. Are you any? Do you do that at all? Do you, no, you, like, I just have. I'm, I'm not a collector of anything except for baby toys at this point. Yeah. So like baby toys and keepsakes from my daughter. That's about it. But I got like a one wrestling vintage shirt, and it's just like a macho man. Like uh, uh, Macho Madness shirt. That's yeah. it. Lastly, who's the coolest person celebrity wise that's been in your DMs? Mm. Who's a fan of you? Is like obviously keep doing what you're doing. Is the one that was like, man, this is pretty awesome. How you show your wife? Nah, you know what I mean? Not, not, God, I don't know. I always thought it was cool to make friends with people that I admire. Sure. So like bands that I really like, like A Day to Remember, uh, yeah. they're they're good dudes and they're they're like friends of mine now and that's pretty sick. And yeah. so like, uh, I always thought that was cool. I never like, never really got off on like, uh, like a like a big time celebrity, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It was always just like, oh, I think that I think that band's cool. I think they'll respond to my DM type thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. One last thing, a Pizza Hut is sponsoring WrestleMania. Yeah. What is your Pizza Hut order? What is your favorite thing at Pizza Hut? I love their like breadsticks. I love their breadsticks. I mean, obviously they pioneer the stuffed crust, uh, yeah. which I'm a big fan of. Uh, but I love their breadsticks. Their breadsticks have like gone unchanged for generations, and they're fantastic. A little dipping sauce, maybe a little ranch as well. Yeah, yeah big win there. I love them, my friend. Good to see you. Cheers. Thanks for being a good guy. Yes,